and I'm Howard Phillips Lovecraft, and today's question comes all the way from Verona. Uh, Christian asks, Dear Mr. Lovecraft, that I have just travelled outside the United States for the first time for my work. How do you feel that travel broadens the mind, and do you plan to go to Europe? If not, New Orleans is always fine. Christian. Oh, Mr. Christian, oh, the time has come. And you know, you're the only one to say... Okay, where was I going with that? Sorry, I got a little lost in thought. What I mean to say is that I'm so pleased to hear that you're getting a chance to, to escape the bounds of the country and see new horizons. And travel is one of the most important things you can do, not only for your own education, but also to broaden the spirit, to give you a chance to free yourselves from parochialism that can creep in and build up walls around your imagination. And one of my greatest desires in life was to have traveled more. I, I got up to Canada, which was fine in its own way, but I never did get an opportunity to, to travel abroad to Europe, to, to see the plains of England, or, or the castles of France, or Germany, I suppose. But what's remarkable is that now, in my new life, I, I've been given new opportunities to, to travel. People ring me out to give my advice live, and I, I've managed to go to such warm, inviting places like Portland and Santa Fe, and I would love to, to come to New Orleans or, or anywhere people would have me, because I do truly believe that it's so vital that we travel, that we go abroad, that we venture out. It's part of the human condition to, to seek out horizons and chase them down. And, and even if you don't have the, the time or resources for it, you can still read about far-off places, discover hidden places just in your locality. Any amount of stepping foot outside and seeing a broader world does wonders for the mind the imagination. And it's not too bad for the old health, either. As long as you keep away from Belgium, there's no point going there. As always, I'm Howard Phillips Lovecraft. Thank you.